Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, <laughs> Stanley. I'm sorry, we just had a whole... The stuff that y'all don't see before Y'all might see this. On. Look, this the mid-season finale. We might just show it to them. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know if they're ready? I don't know if they're ready. So, Queen Sugar. I was expecting a whole lot more, but I'm kind of glad that they pasted it the way that they did. Because it gives us something to look forward to. But before we even get into the review, I want to thank each and every last one of you all that yes, have been me. rocking out with us from the beginning of season one. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, we don't take it lightly. Um, we are a channel that, you know, we, we almost at 7,000 subscribers. Thanks to I've been told. once again. Yeah, and we talk to each and every one of you all. And I thank God for every last one of y'all. I'm about to go preaching on y'all. I thank God for every last one of y'all. Never mind. But anyway, um... Yeah, but we do. We appreciate it. Um, we don't take your subscription lightly. We don't take no. your likes lightly. And we don't take your comments lightly. Exactly. You you, you do that part. We do this part. Yes, sir. We a team. Way, and that's the way it works. Yeah. We in a partnership. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So teamwork makes the dream work. Hello. So we see Nova, right? She gets off um, the airplane over there at Atlanta. Let me talk, talk yeah, about Atlanta's yeah, yeah. airport. Hot wow. Atlanta, you in Charlotte, North Carolina got your airports. First of all, why does the plane come down and goes on an overpass? <laughs> That's getting the buck out of me. <laughs> what the buck? Really? Like, mm. we're going to die. We're going to die. But anyway, she gets up. She made it. She made it off the overpass. Yeah. And she made it. She gets off the airplane and you know she coming down the escalator. And oh Mr. Dubois got a sign up to say Queen. Queen. Not a name, but Queen. I said I told uh -huh. you nobody to go to Atlanta yeah. get the BBC. So he got the romance on already on the sign, letting you know that it's you are Queen, buddy. And yeah. the king is here. Uh-huh. Dang. <laughs> so they go get in the Tahoe, right? Ended up at his um his place. He said, you know what, no, before you go upstairs. You know, I live as a humble man. I said, are you in the slums? Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. So he walks around to her side to open up her um, passion the door like a gentleman. But when he go look through the window, she ain't in there no more. Because she done crawled her little tail in, in the, the back, back seat of the Tahoe. So Stanley said, well, what's going on right here? Like, what, is she, what is she doing? You play hide and go see or hide and go get it? I said, well, there ain't but one or two things you do in the back of an SUV. Uh -huh. And the first one that came to mind is she ain't been able to do that yet. Because she just got off the airplane. Yeah. She done been through TSA, so she ain't got no weed on. <laughs> and then I said, well, maybe she do. Because just like Girls Trip. Yeah. Did she hide it in her booty hole? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I said, no, don't, don't you get back there and cock your legs open in this man's tie hole. No, let him put you in the bed first. You do that freaking stuff after you don't did the boring stuff. You know what but I mean? She, she, ain't, she ain't know what was going on up at them stairs. He, he putting disclaimers in there. Might have you roaches. know, he got roaches and mice and all that kind of bullshit get up here. So nah. it's only been left to our imagination what happened in the, in the back of that tie hole. But you know. We, we all know what the hell happened back in the back tower. Mm -hmm. so, so you don't get in the back seat for none. So while she was there, because I'm going to try to wrap up all her scenes. While she's there, he decided that it was a good idea to take her to this dinner party. It, Which I think it was a setup. As I, as I think about it now, I think he strategically mm -hmm. put her at that meeting. Because he knew that she wasn't going to keep her mouth closed when that <laughs> sucker started running his mouth. Because he started talking in code as if Nova wouldn't know what he was talking about. But See, he knew her. I mean, he knew her, but he still was talking in code like selection and, and all that different bullshit he was saying. And she pulled, 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 uh, freaking. What? <laughs> pulled all that, skipped apart, and ripped him a new one. Yeah, so we ain't going to go through everything that happened. But basically, we had a guy there. That knew of Nova, and he started on his um, Republican Party bullshit in Donald Trump fashion. Hey, <laughs> you try to give me a chance, but I'm <laughs> that's an inside joke. If y'all look on Instagram, y'all know where it came from. But um, he went on his whole rant talking about some um, basically flushing out the immigrants, mm -hmm. the poor people, this, that, and the other. You know, population control, this, that, and the third. So you know, Nova. Nova was like, hold on, hold on. Who are you 
to, to decide. decide and make these kind of decisions. He said, oh, the elites, the doctors, the lawyers, the, um, the leaders and all them. Yeah. Um, all them good people, you know, the Illuminati. And that's what and that and that's what's wrong with this world today. You got some people that's at the top, the elite, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. They feel like they got the power to make decisions on what we supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. They want to try to eliminate us, but you know it's more of us than it is of them. Yeah. But then this what he said. He said, you know what, Nova? He said, don't worry about it. You you'll get it later. He said, you know, basically you got to pick your battles. It's gonna either be the funding for this. You know, because Zika's eventually going to hit New Orleans, you know. She said, what do you mean? mean yeah. You know, that's a conspiracy theory. He said, no, no. Basically, what sound like to me is we're going to make Yeah, we're going to plan it. Yeah, we're going to plan it. New Orleans. Yeah. He was like, oh, what happened down there at the Knife Ward? Those houses being uh, flooded with water, drying out all these years? Perfect breeding ground for Zika. Mm -hmm. So she's looking at him like. Yeah, y'all got something planned. She got up and walked away from that guy doing table. Oh, and she said something else and she was like, yeah, you don't get to decide and all this stuff. He looks at uh, Mr. Dubois and said, some people do decide. Ain't that right, Bobby? Uh-huh. So that's when she walked away and she was mm -hmm. like, okay, hold on. You, you like, got you me with this bullshit? Yeah, you, you got me You say you were fighting for, for, for black folk and you with this bullshit he talking about? Well, I didn't believe it, though. But that was a cheap shot. Yeah, it was a cheap it shot. It was a cheap shot that he was doing. That was a cheap shot. So I said, Nova. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So next thing we know, we see Nova back at the house over there on Vaz, rubbing our Vaz feet, giving her, you know, acupuncture and pressure points and all this good stuff. Reflexology. And um, Nova said, I mean, I'm about to say, what, what the hell are you doing back here? She said, um, he wanted the right one for me. He was out there mingling and doing this with um these day on white folks and all this, uh, I ain't for it. I've I said, everything wrong that you say about this man, I can find a thousand things right with this man. Mm -hmm. Go and get your Hershey kiss. Yeah, she said, because if I had that thing, I would have a I'd whole lot him. of different ways. I could break him into pieces. I said, I've had, really? She said, what you mean? She, she said, said, I'm, I'm just, just keeping it. it real. So she was like, no, but ain't nothing wrong with this relationship but you. You are what's wrong right here. But let so me go get your man. But let me plug this right here. That's why a lot of people are single today. Because mm. they trying to find a perfect man and a perfect woman. Let me tell you something. It no do man. not exist. When you stepped in the relationship, it exactly. became imperfect because you ain't perfect. Yeah, you ain't perfect. Your skit stink, his skit stink, all of our skit stink. Yeah. And um, Bobby had told her, I call him Bobby now, like I know him. First yeah. Time, <laughs> Mr. Dubois, Dr. Dubois. He told Nova, he said, listen, he said, sometimes you got to put yourself in an arena where you can do the song and dance so that you can get along, get information. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, you have the right to choose because you are empowered with the information, information. and the tools mm -hmm. to be able to choose. That's right. She said... This ain't the game that I want to play. See, this is where I have a problem with Nova. I actually have a problem with a whole lot of people when it comes to stuff like this. I don't believe in people like, like let's just say for instance, we're fighting for a cause. Mm -hmm. If we're fighting for a cause, then we're not going to mingle with anyone else that may have a difference of opinion or that may have a different viewpoint on the cause. Mm -hmm. Because it keeps you one-sided when you're not able to do that. Mm -hmm. So like he was saying, I'm in the arena. I'm hearing it all. I'm gathering it all. And at the end yeah. of the day, don't be fooled. Yeah. I know what the hell's going on and I know what I'm doing. I'm just like a goddamn plant. That's right. <laughs> I'm getting the info and I'm going to do what I need to do with my part. That's right. Nova said, nope, mm -mm, this ain't how I play the game. And he said, listen, we all deserve to grow. That's right. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And that lady that was sitting at the end of the table, she can get you an interview with CNN. And she was like, nah. I don't want to do that. Like, nah. He was like, and basically he was like, listen, you better use the avenue that God mm -hmm. has given you mm -hmm. to get your word out. That's right. Sometimes we want to do it our way. We want to write our little column in our little yeah. no, local and, paper. And, and ain't nobody fit. else going to see it but our local. That's um, right. If it don't fit within our little box parameters. in our head, we don't take no other steps. But that's the first um, art of war is to learn the tactics of your enemy. Mm -hmm. so, go so, right on in so that's why you got to go into the enemy's camp. 
and take, take back what he what what he stole from you. So you gotta <laughs> you gotta get in there to figure out exactly what they're doing. You make them think that you that they on your side or you on their side. Mm -hmm. And the least when they expect it, you bum rush them jokers and take back your skit. Well, that's what Bobby did because after Nova went ahead and left and came yep. back home to unvite, she had her house wrapping her dreadlocks up, getting her, st well, locks, lock, bleh, 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 bleh. Uh, wrapping. What? Yeah, just had a moment, <laughs> man. I'm tired. She was wrapping her locks up, getting ready to go to bed or do something, knock on the door. And the first thing I said, hold on, Nova. You didn't look through the peephole. You didn't ask who it was. You black and you sell weed. She might have shot his bald head and, and the If I ain't right seen, she ain't seen. And she's shorter than me. <laughs> so I said, okay. So she opens the door. Dr. Dubois said, so I leave and go to work. And when I come back home, my old lady ain't at the you house. Don't. He said, mm mm, I got something for you though. I said, I like how he handles her though. Yeah. He came on in the room and he said, listen, you ain't thought I knew what I was doing? Look at here. This information right here is what I gathered from being on the inside. Exactly. I got enough information here that that old jerk that was at the table running his mouth. Yeah. I could turn all his words against him. Exactly. Get the funding we need for New Orleans and any other bullshit that they try exactly. to plant down here. And we ain't got to do no more of these petty fundraisers and stuff that people don't support. We got the cash right here to do what we need to do. And he said, now that I have stimulated your mind. <laughs> Let me pick you up, put you on this counter, and stimulate that him or thee. Mm. And I said, go, 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 go. Wrap it up, wrap it up, because you ain't had him test it yet. Wrap it up, wrap it up, you ain't had him test it yet. Wrap it up, wrap it up, because we don't want you to be doing an usher. We'll wrap it up, wrap it up. I get that on round two. <sighs> round two. <laughs> Fight. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> so then we see, um. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie is. Her article has come out. Everybody has read the article. And she's having a moment where she washed her hair. She looks in the mirror and she no longer wants to straighten her hair. She wants to mm -hmm. be her authentic self. She wanted to be curly shoe. And it looked cute on her. I love it. So she was like, I'm, I want to be my authentic self in the article. So let me go ahead and go through this transition. Michael looked at his mama and said, she said, it's just my natural curl pattern. It's going to be all right. And he looking at her like, she said, you look good. Hop a hoodie. This my mom? Okay. <laughs> Not only if everybody else trying to figure out who, what the hell, Micah trying to figure out what's going on, the farmers is too. Because mm -hmm. now we don't learn that Remy don't told Charlie, said, listen, the farmers don't got to hope that this day going article that you wrote and say that you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to reinvent Vent yourself. yourself. Right. So right now they are feeling real unstable. Yeah. They don't want to feel like a pit they, stop on the discovery to Charlie finding Charlie. Yeah. Uh -uh. So we, he said, we need to have a church meeting. Said we need to be you be of a sound mind <laughs> and a sound body and let us know exactly what you're going to do. So she over at the town hall meeting, the church meeting. <laughs> Down in the basement. And that 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 farmer that played, he played on, on one of um, Tyler Perry's things. He said, listen here. What we not fitting to do is take all of our contracts and pull them from the landers. Mm -hmm. And we don't have these contracts for many years, which means that they probably are paying way less than yeah. everybody else is grinding with them, but they still paying a lot, a lot of money. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he said, what we're not going to do is pull our stuff from the landers, come over here with you, and you be here one, two years and decide that this isn't who you are. And, and you leave us out here high and dry. Uh -huh. And we got to go crawling back to the landers, And then we're going to have to pay more money. Crazy contracts. Yeah, because you know they're going to stick them there. But yeah. like, oh, you all want to leave? Okay. Come back at a premium. So she came back with a speech and she was talking about how she never felt like she belonged in St. Joe. But now she realizes that St. Joe is home. St. Joe is who she is. And she is here to stay. So Prosper, Prosper said, said, huh? Say, you call for this work. <laughs> Let us pray. Let us pray. Bob in the name of Jesus. Not this here blessing of this sister got a book. But, hey. you, but you, you know, most of the time, um, people run around saying, I, I, I can't find my purpose. I can't find my purpose. Can you tell me my purpose? Can I, can I read this book, get my purpose? Mm -mm. Your purpose has to be discovered. And even then, when you discover your purpose, it can change. Yeah. So 
right now in your life, this could be what you're doing right now is your purpose, but that could change. And that's based upon how you feel. So if you're still happy doing what you're doing, maybe that's your purpose. And I always tell people, usually your purpose is something that you're already doing. Like, it comes organically to you. Yeah. You don't have to try. Like, with me, I try crazy people. All the time. That's why I you have purpose, to be here. You purposely crazy. <laughs> and because I'm able to... And why I say that is because I am able to attract anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. Like, today, this guy, a guy from India, <laughs> was over there, just came over. It just was just... And I'm sitting here like, wh what is it about me that says, come and drop your life on me? Yeah. Tell me all about your problems, you know? And I realized that that's a part of my purpose. I have a, a gift of being able to just talk to people. Mm -hmm. Bring them down a few notches. Yep. Let them see that it's bad, but it can be a whole lot worse than what it is. You're going to continue to live and you're going to continue to live another day. And if you yeah. don't... Just make sure you got life insurance. That's right. And, and, while, and, while, <laughs> and while we're in church and we preaching at you right now, that the beautiful thing about a purpose, everything was created to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. So you got to ask yourself, what problem was I created to solve or problems? So like y'all come watching us on YouTube. One of our purposes today is to make your life better, to make you laugh. Get you through your day. Get you through your day. And Make your you day. smile. Now, some people on the channel don't appreciate it. <laughs> they won't give us another chance, but that's all right. That's all right. But we'll welcome you back. Uh, and we can make your life better. But yeah. it's all good. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Positive vibes. You feel it? Yep. You feel it? Feel it? Try one more time so they can feel Positive it. Positive vibes. I think they got it that time. They got it that time? I think they got it that time. So we see Ralph Angel. Now this is what I don't like. Ralph Angel did all that bullshit last week. And we were hoping and praying that at the end of all of that arguing, mm -hmm. Ralph Angel would have said, hey, this is what the will said. Mm -hmm. But in my heart of hearts, I'm going to do right by y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and divide all of this up equally. And to be honest, see, we, 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 we learned a sign of earnest that we didn't quite like last week. Ernest, although he got his sister out of a bad marriage, he did it at the expense of taking half of the freaking land. Mm. Her half of the land back from her. Now, this is me as a person. And I can say this because I'm in this situation right now. Now, I wouldn't say he, that he took it from her. He, based upon what she said. No, But I'm going to let no, you no. finish your statement, though. No, because th yeah. this is why I said it. Yeah, go ahead, go, go ahead and put it on out there. At his, on his deathbed. And in his will, why didn't he 50% his sister back oh. her land and split the rest with Ralph Angel and his kids? Or if he just wanted to do Ralph Angel, that's his prerogative. But you knew in your heart of hearts, your sister, your parents gave that to y'all too. Mm -hmm. And because she fell on hard times and she had no other choice but to sell her land to you. Yeah. To get out of a bad situation. And you did that for her. Mm -hmm. I know me. I'm the kind of person that even if I was forced to do something like that. On my dying bed, I'm going to watch out for you. Well, and I'm going to make well, sure that I'm going to do right. And maybe that's what my problem is. Maybe that's why I always get bucked up in these streets. And I get treated bad. So you're too loyal? I'm too goddamn loyal to you, people. Just like David? Yeah. Loyal to a fault? Loyal to a fault. But that's a good point. I like that though. Yeah. Yeah, but... The bad part about it, everybody don't think that way. Yeah, so. So, I, you know, I guess at the time he was clouded. He won't cloud you know, clouded in He won't iron as hell. No, no listen to me. <laughs> I listen to you. I listen. Maybe he was clouded because he really wanted to help Ralph Angel and he just didn't think about what Aunt Vi did. And just was like, or oh, maybe they had a conversation to say, I don't want, she didn't want the land back. I, I don't know. But you got a good point, though. Yeah. Good. That's a darn good point. Yeah. I mean, it ain't like it's going to cost him some money to give it back to her. He did. Yeah, it's just willow right on back. The land is paid for. Paid for with a price. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay. Or well. maybe right in there that when the farm gets up and run, that she gets a certain part of the profits. Right. That'll work, right. too. So that way she don't have to necessarily own her piece again, but she just get a piece of the profits. Yeah. So. Oh, well, I wanted to say this, too. I'm running my mouth at night. 
I believe, I think last week maybe Ralph Angel wanted to say that because he said, I'm here to make things right. He was crying. He had on his good suit. And, uh, <laughs> I think when they start getting pissed off and started coming at him like he wasn't good enough and that he can't run the farm by himself, his pride kicked in because he don't like to be challenged because he would be challenged back in the wall. Men like that, you know, we like that. You and know. Ralph Angel's a spoiled brat. Yeah, so his his response back to them was, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to do all this bullshit myself. If I had to get six jobs, I don't get tired. I'm going to run this goddamn farm. Until today. Until today, when because, he made the call. Because he had to call on Vi and say, hey, on Vi, you heard from Charlie? <laughs> hey, everything ran, he get ready to get cut off, the lights get ready to get cut off, I need a paycheck. Yeah. Um, I, the, the farm. I need, because oh, I, I, I want my parole officer to take me back to jail because I ain't getting no check, man. I need, I need a paycheck. <laughs> on Vi said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ain't hey, put me in the middle of this bullshit. Last time I got put in the middle, I got got. Mm -mm. That's usually nope. what happened though. Nope. When you step in the middle of all the people's bullshit, they end up smacking you in the end. Uh huh. So she's standing in her kitchen just looking like. <sighs> Hollywood coming in and said, What's wrong with you, girl? She said, Well, maybe I should reach out to um, Charlie and Nova trying to make this right. Now, he's standing up there looking like a big, tall pitcher of Kool Aid. He talking about Charlotte. Hey, bye. Uh uh. What you ain't gonna do is let these chum wear your hard parts out. Because I'm about to do that a little later. <laughs> no, don't do it. She said, so what you trying to say? I'm, I'm more... I'm, I'm he said, no, no, no. Get out your goddamn feelings. That but y'all like saying. that, though. What? Y'all don't like that, though. We say something to help you, and you just hear the piece that sound negative and just run with it. But it's not about me. Yeah. I said y'all. I ain't say you, y'all. So you talking to them, too, then? Yeah, women. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, you hey, open up hey, a say, Yeah, y'all say a whole bunch of scared about us. Yeah, we do. Yeah, y'all be in y'all feelings. That's the reason why y'all be in y'all feelings because y'all receive us. See, men are givers, women are receivers. So when we say some stuff, if we say something, it got to be worded just right. If air verb or adjective is off by a millimeter, oh, we got hell to pay. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why you silent. I'm gonna cut your goddamn beard like off. The, like, the, like the preacher, we preachers, we preacher be preacher. Y'all quiet today, cause I'm speaking the truth. Amen, lights. <laughs> Amen, lights. <laughs> Hello, walls. <laughs> I'm gonna cut your goddamn beard off. You sleep. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Right there, right there. If I ain't got no beard, um, when I come on here Sunday, y'all know what happened. <laughs> so we see, little blue ain't eating. He and his feelings because mama, had, mama ain't been there. And you know what I don't understand here? Because you know me and Dollar don't get along. But I've been giving her the benefit of the doubt. And I've been pleasantly pleased with her progress. Yeah, yeah. But I'm proud. I'm, 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 what the heck? I'm, I'm, pr I'm pr proud of her. You know, <laughs> to be honest. I'm so, it was I'm hard so, for I'm me so, to say I'm that. So but, proud of you. but I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm a little upset that they just let this Kenya thing move over the way it is. Kenya been a part of blue life since God know when, and they came in with this imposter. <laughs> and blue discovered that it was an imposter. And ever since then, he been cool with it. He called him out on it. He called him out on it. But why? That might be why he not eating. Ain't nothing about mama. Kenya ain't here, God darn it. He said, where my mama at? But you, but you know what though? Dollar's plan is working. <laughs> That's the whole plan. Her plan is working. So, Ralph Angel said, hey, mama, she'll be here for dinner sometime. And sometimes she'll just be at dinner with you. He was like, wait a minute, did I do something again? Yeah, that's And the last right. time y'all broke my heart, you took away Kenya. Did I do something then? <laughs> now my mama gone, did I do something again? He said, Cause, wait a minute. I said, nope. So then they ended up having to sit down. And I didn't like that Dollar had to be the one to explain it to him. Because it wasn't Dollar's doing. Yeah, well, Ralph Angel, Ralph Angel, open your mouth and explain to your son why his mama's not in the house. Mm -hmm. She did a good job explaining it. She did. She, she said I'm on the schedule because I'm, I'm sick. I'm, I'm not going to call her a motivational speaker this time, but uh, she oh. did a good job. Her, the lady at the party, said she's going to be a motivational speaker for the rest of her life. Can you dig it? That's what she showed enough did. So we she can call her that. She showed enough did. I just decided not to call her that. But, uh. Oh, uh, okay. 
Not me. I ain't say she wasn't. I just decided not to call that because, you know, she did real good on this episode. She did. She I was did surprised. real good. I'm proud last of Last week, I thought she had relapsed. When she came around that corner, she was doing like this. It's all yeah. hell. Mm-hmm. Say she don't Got snort. Got that white horse again. So, Doll had a, did a good job of explaining to him. Said she's sick. She got to be she got to be stuck to a schedule just like you have to stick to a schedule to make sure that your life goes in line. I got to do the same thing. But she said, you know what? I will be here as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And he said, you gonna be here tomorrow. She said, nope, can't be here tomorrow. I got an important party to go to tomorrow. Can I go? No, for adults only. So Ralph Angel's like, oh, that two you years sobriety that? thing. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. He all perked up. Buck you, Ralph Angel. <laughs> Fuck you. Because you should have had that in your garden. Do you got should've a cell phone? Put, yeah, yeah, do we have a cell phone? He had them stolen ones once before. He had them stolen laptops, them Apple computers. He probably don't even get signal like that. It was, trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. So, next thing we know, she goes to the, to the party. And she's the one, she like, I think there was somebody that was like, like six three months, three, three months, months, six months. And six months. She and she years. was the two year one. So, you know, she's, Getting her applause, it was depressing as hell though. <laughs> I was like, come on now. I know y'all can't turn up, but do something. Yeah, have play some, some music or something. Some run play DMC some, yeah, or something. Al Green or something. No, do no Al Green. That skit will make you drink and smoke. <laughs> For the good times, lay your head. <sighs> you be sitting over there, I be like, I'm happily married. Why the fuck do I feel like I'm heartbroken right now? <laughs> Like, my life is fucked up, and I ain't got nobody in my corner. But you right here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Make agree. you feel lonely. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, stop that. Mm -mm, turn that bulls get off right now. <laughs> and that brown look will do it. So I said, now I'm out. So next thing we know, we see Ralph Angel came in, and Charlie came in. And I was glad that Charlie came to yeah, support her. Yeah, unless she her. came, yeah. So after everything was going on, there was the meet and greet part of it. The lady... That I don't know if she was the head of the program. Or, I think she was. Or was she the sponsor, whoever she was. She had Ralph Angel over in the corner. Him and right I up. liked how she dealt with him. Yeah, I ain't gonna him, lie. Him them right on up. She said, um, you the boyfriend? He said, yes. He said, you know that this is gonna be a, a lifetime, lifetime process. She mm -hmm. can't have anybody screwing her up. Mm -hmm. Are you in this for the long haul? Because she can't afford to slip up. In other words, she was saying that this girl was, she was gone. Yeah. So the next time, you may not be able to get her back. Nope. So he, she told him, said, if you, if you ain't, if you can't do it, leave. Leave. I said, well, darn. I said, God darn. I like people that shoot from the hip like that, though. Yeah, Cause I don't know. Mean, yeah. Because so I, I don't think he really... He understands. He didn't really understand. Because uh, she, she, she was trying to explain it to him. He was like, these jobs is actually helping me stay sober. Mm -hmm. In other words, when I could be out here snorting coke, I'm working. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Got something to occupy your time. Exactly. So I don't mind. It's a devil's workshop. Yeah. So, Charlie, you know, they had their little words and whatnot. Charlie and... <laughs> Rap Angels had a talk and I said, oh hell, don't show out at this party here. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all know we love to bring stuff up at the wrong goddamn time. <laughs> so the first thing that came out of his mouth, which pissed me off, hey Charlie, uh, I need a check. First of all, shut up. <laughs> How about, hi, hello. How you doing sis? I'm sorry about what happened back there at the house. Yeah. Can you come back to the house later on so we can have a sit down talk while, you know, I'm I'm cool, I'm calm. Yeah, you know, I didn't mean to talk to you so hard. No, he just came out with it. I need a check. Yeah. For She's, my bro. But she handled it good. She said, you know what? I won't never gonna turn my back on you. She said, all that right there ain't don't don't matter. Cause I'm not gonna lose my baby brother. I said, oh. That's good. Go ahead now. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't expect her to go down like yeah, that. Yeah, I I was expecting the for Nova to come back and say that first. Cause on Vi was the one that had that conversation with Nova. Yeah. Mm hmm So then we see, mm -hmm. I'm gonna jump around a little bit. Davis West. AKA player from the Himalayas. Lil Dick. <laughs> he is um heavy lunch with old girl from the Habitat from Humanity House. Mm-hmm. The singer. Okay. 
she basically telling him, hey, can we be each other's do-over? I was taking chance. I was like, what? Did you just not see what he just came out of? Yeah, that's the, yeah, and it's public. So you know exactly what, so when all hell breaks loose. You can't even say nothing. Just like, uh, 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 hang on, what's his name? Oh, they were blind. Uh, who? God, Ray? Ray Charles said, you knew the ruse <laughs> when you got into this. Why you close your eyes, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you knew the ruse before you got into this. He said, don't take it wrong, Ray. <laughs> Well, give it to me right there. Well, give it to me right there. So don't get in a relationship and get mad when he's sticking your dick somewhere else other than you. Because it's going to happen. But when she was sitting there, I honestly thought it was Charlie. Because the way yeah, she had well, her hair pulled yeah, back. Yeah, she did. And now, then she sat down and said she looked just like Tia and Tamara um, sitting there. That's why he would have. I, I was thinking the same thing. Most of men end up going a replacement. The replacement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's sitting there having a little chat chat with her and Micah calls because Micah is after school. They, him and Kiki and this other girl, Lakeisha. I said, there's a lot of Keisha's going on in, in these episodes and these series. They see that these cops got these boys pulled over on the curb. Mm -hmm. And they said that they want to sit there and they want to watch and make sure that don't nothing happen to these boys. And I said, y'all better get Facebook Live on and popping or Instagram Live on and popping. Yeah. It don't matter. Cause even if they do something to them, they're gonna get off anyway. Mm -hmm. So it don't even matter, but at least at least you, know. you have it out there. So I guess they were satisfied with what was going on and they decided they were gonna go ahead and walk home. But they called he called his dad and asked his dad, you know, can I go to the loft? I'm gonna show Kiki the loft. He said, Yeah, you can take her to the loft, but I'm not there. I'm at a marketing meeting. Well, when they walked past where Davis West was sitting, and Kiki noticed him through the window. And said, Michael, they were your dad, right though. Mm -hmm. Michael came in there you and said, Oh, so you the next one? You the <laughs> next one. Oh, daddy, you ain't no good. You a cheat. You, you a cheat liar. Mama, you a liar. And all of this bullshit is your fault. Next thing we know, we get back to the place, to the um, to the um, loft. And Davis West said, What the fuck is going on with you? Yeah, this I want, I want the old Michael back. I want answers for, he said, oh, no, no, no. All of this that I'm going through is your fault. Mm -hmm. The divorce, moving down here, the car, all of that. True. Because of you. I said, true. true. And then the next thing we know, Michael started tearing up the room. I said, there I it said, is. I said, oh, 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 what there happened? What happened? What happened? Huh. Michael said, they put me in the back of the car, handcuffed me. Said the guy was really, really nice at first, you know. He said, I was telling him, said, hey. I'm David's West's son. He said he didn't believe me, but he's, you know, he started talking out of his mouth, saying, you know, oh yeah, you sound like one of them um, rich spoiled kids, mm -hmm. got a silver spoon in their mouth. But he said, we went past the police station and we ended up in a dark alley. And then he started turning really mean. And he told me he gonna take that silver spoon out of my, my mouth. mouth and put something else in it. And I said, mother bucker. No, no, no. My bucker, if you took it in, that's and what put I it thought. In Micah's mouth. That's what I thought he was gonna say. That's what I thought he was gonna say. I don't know which. Either way, it was all bad. Micah said he took his gun, put it in his mouth, and pulled, pulled the trigger. Goddamn trigger. trigger. Seriously, seriously. What time do y'all want to meet down in New Orleans? What time? Mm -hmm. What time? <laughs> what day? Do I got any frequent flyer miles left? I don't know. We don't even need them. We just we just, just pay, pay out of pocket. Just pay out of pocket and go. Can I can I call this charity? Yeah. On my taxes. Yeah, we'll write it off. I'll write this book. Get off. Write that book. Get rid of all. Who me? I said I can't believe it. Like Michael fooled all of us because we always we thought he was straight, but he did say nothing happened to him in the jail. Yeah, in the jail. So it happened so to sometimes him you gotta before listen. he got to the jail. You gotta listen. Yeah. So uh So that explains why he was scared to tell it because he's scared if he tell it that cop gonna get him again. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what he was afraid of. But Davis West, he not gonna let this go. And he oh, has no. the money and the star power. He gonna yeah. raise some flags. That's right. But did y'all see this? I skipped over it, but it's important. Dollar goes to work and asks Charlie, are we okay? Now Charlie pissed me off with this one. She said, I don't mm -hmm. know if we're okay or not. Yeah. Because you held that information from me knowing that there was a will out there. And I said, hold on, wait a minute. Say that wrong for her to tell you that bullshit? You just started speaking to this girl. Yeah. Yeah, you gave her a job and everything, but let's not be 
let's not get it twisted. You need her just as much as she needs you. That's right. Um, you want her to roll over on her man that she like somebody say, How can I how can I compete with Pillow Talk? Mm -hmm. You want this chick to 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 roll over on her dude? Yeah. To tell you something? Yeah. And bust up her habit home? Yeah, that's that's how people how people get all messed up now and they open their mouth up and say stuff they ain't supposed to be saying. Dollar said, Charlie, with all due respect, that wasn't my truth to tell. She said that was wrong. Rouse. That was his truth to tell you. Now, I will continue to come here and work. And I will do a good job until the day you tell me not to do it. I guess at this point, I just got to gain your trust. But she said, I wasn't going to put myself in that position. And I mm -hmm. said, you dare going right. You dare going right. It won't that, did, that didn't have nothing to do with you. Yeah, because the first thing Charlotte went back and said, Darla said that you got a will. Okay, you know, people don't never confront <laughs> a person and just say that I found out. They gonna call out your name. Mm-hmm. So we saw that Unvado passed out. And I said, no, no, no. I we said, started no. last, we started season one with Ernest dying. We not gonna go miss nah. season finale that something happened to Unvado. We not. Nah, we need we need on vibe. Yeah, we need on vibe. Well, Charlie and um Hollywood wanted to take her to the hospital. They said, come on, let's go to the hospital. You know them stubborn. Us stubborn folk. Say, mm, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna got to a hospital. I'm alright. I'm just. I haven't had enough to eat. Charlie said something might be wrong with you. She said ain't nothing wrong with me but you. Yep. You and your stubborn goddamn siblings. That were wrong with you. Y'all go work that out. Not go get me some some bacon <laughs> and eat me a ball egg and I will be okay. And a cup of ginger ale. <laughs> and hit my chest. <laughs> and um, they left off like that. I said okay. So what else happened? Da, 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 da. Then, we see, old, then we see old then we see old Ralph. He want to make things together. Oh. And they came back home from the uh, from the sobriety meeting with his lights off and the lights is off. So he went on up in there and set up some nice candles and had them all set out real nice. And uh, dog came and said, "Wait a minute, what we got going on in here?" And I said, "Look, look at you trying to be romantic and, said, and, he, and resourceful." He at said, the same "He time. said I just wanted to uh, go ahead and do something for you." You know, I, I appreciate you and everything, and, and uh, you know, I'm proud of you. She said, so, you, you, want, me, you want me to stay tonight? He said, yeah. And, and the, the next night, night. And the next and night. And the next night. And the, and the next night. And the next night. And she was like, what are you trying to say? So this is where I saw, I said, oh, Ralph Angel don't have progress, y'all. Because y'all remember when we first met Ralph Angel? And Dollar would try to touch him on his face and stuff like that. He would always be like, mm -hmm. all he want to do is smash. He didn't want to be caressed. He didn't want to do nope. But now the hands all on his face, mm -hmm. running it through his beard. Like my aunt said, the Buick. And I said, oh, okay. And they say, you know, he on one knee talking about some Dollar. Will you marry me? So that white woman broke him down so bad he proposed. <laughs> I said, like, what? And I said, well, what ring you got? Where that ring come from? Yeah, how you? Cause yeah. I said it better not be um, it better not be your mama's. Cause <laughs> Nova's gonna kill you. <laughs> dead, dead. I'm gonna kill him dead. Hey, look, kid. <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. So no. I guess I guess we're gonna have a wedding. Yeah, we're gonna have a wedding. What you gonna wear? I'm, I told you I'm gonna get me one of them white suits. You can't wear white cause Ralph Angel probably gonna wear white again. Yeah, me and he gonna be we gonna have on the white. You best man. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be the best man. Yeah, beard yeah. brothers. Yeah, you. Hey, you gonna be the? I want the bridesmaid. Hell no. Nah, or, or, or you gonna be the? Uh, mm -hmm. I, don't I don't trust a dollar like that. Mm -mm. I've been giving her a chance, but I don't trust her like that. Say, hey, hey, you, you, you be, you be the bridesmaid. You know, you can get a little bit close. Buck that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, last thing. Well, it wasn't the last thing, but last thing I'm gonna talk about is um, a lot of people had a problem with um Remy last week. And how he approached Charlie. I actually did not have a problem with how he approached her. No. Nah. Timing was terrible. But sometimes the truth can't have a timing. Yeah. You got to just and put it out did. there. And he did. And he told her, he said, your daddy basically said that you are very calculating. Mm-hmm. So much so that we saw that it followed her all the way through her freaking interview. Mm-hmm. And now to her lifestyle and her doing a rediscovery of herself. And now to this conversation where he's like... I saw that you purposely left out your divorce in the article. Mm -hmm. What was that all about? She said, listen, I'm not being calculating with you. 
I said, okay, so now you admit it. Mm -hmm. She said, but this was about Micah. I did want to bring that up because Micah has to deal with it. And for my assets. Let's yeah. keep it 100. Mm -hmm. she, she said, but at, at the right time, me and Davis will both give a statement about that. Yeah. But for right now, don't ever doubt how I feel about you. And it's real. And both of them over there, I said, you know what? Just, just get together. So baby, come back. But that's basically it. Yeah, um, that's basically we it. We drag it out because I think y'all deserve a long one for a mid-season finale. Because y'all yeah. not going to see us on this for a minute. But if y'all listen. Greenlee. Hello. Come through. <laughs> we need to find out who, who whooped Skanks A. Who did it? Who is the corporate? I think it was Jacob. I think, was I think Jacob. Jacob whooped this. I think he tried to renege on that church deal <laughs> after he got that money. And Jacob whooped his tail. That's what I think happened. This all said, pressure, Lord. <laughs> Take my hand and leave. Boom. <laughs> 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 Straight from the VA. <laughs> Two up. Two down. Holla. <laughs> <laughs>